I have made several videos on the most famous incidents of fat shaming in the media, like this one, and this one, and this one, etc, etc. Now every time I make a video like this, I can basically count down the minutes until someone says, you obviously don't care about people's health, otherwise you wouldn't be encouraging obesity. And I admit that instinctively, what they say is fucking absurd to me. But then I had a moment of reflection, because if I had done a better job of communicating the science, I wouldn't be getting bombarded with the same predictable comments from people who have obviously missed the point of the video. So please allow me to do some explaining. So fat shaming is a form of weight discrimination. You might also hear the terms weight bias or weight stigma or weight stigmatization. And a common belief is that if someone is classed as having obesity, being hard on them and putting pressure on them is kind of encouraging them to change. So when someone like me comes in and tries my best to, you know, not make people feel shit about themselves, I'm apparently encouraging poor health. So let me talk about why this is problematic. First and foremost, you cannot accurately assess someone's health based on how they look. I have friends who look very healthy and they're very lean and muscular, but they treat their body like some kind of underground pharmaceutical experiment. But I don't remember any of them saying that their six pack was a sign of health when they were injecting Tren or snorting Coke at the weekends. And I never actually lectured them on this, you know, their body, their call. Sure, I know what some of you are thinking, and you could make the argument that people who are at extreme ends of the body weight spectrum might be more susceptible to certain health conditions. But that brings me to the second point. If weight was a reliable indicator of health in isolation, what about mental health? If someone knew that you personally were at higher risk of cardiovascular disease, does that give them a free pass to treat you like shit? Obviously not. A lot of people don't realize that they can't bully someone for how they look and then pretend that they're doing it because they care about their health. Do they not realize how fucking backwards that is? Because weight stigmatization has been linked with depression, lower levels of self-esteem, and higher levels of body dissatisfaction. And that, my friends, is not good for health. Thirdly, and this is a good one, did someone actually ask for opinions on health or how they looked? I engage in some behaviours that other people would view as unhealthy, like drinking alcohol. And if I was sitting there in a bar with a delicious mojito in hand and someone walked up to me and said, you're disgusting, don't you care about your health? I probably wouldn't open my arms for a warm embrace and say, my gosh, you have really enlightened me today. Thank you so much. No, I would probably feel super defensive and want to flick them in the jugular. But people do that exact thing all the time when it comes to someone's body weight. There's a big fucking difference between having a self-invited conversation about your health with your medical professional and a stranger giving you unsolicited insults on the internet. Scientists are saying that these are not the same thing. Shocking. I know. Fourthly, research indicates that exposing some people to weight stigmatizing materials can actually encourage them to eat more food, not less. Like this study, when people ate three times more food after watching the weight stigmatizing video versus the control video. Or this study, when reading articles about weight discrimination, people again responded by eating more food than when they read the control article. And in a separate study of women in a weight loss support group, 79% reported that they coped with weight stigmatization by eating more food. Fifthly, research indicates an association between weight stigma and decreased motivation to exercise. You heard that right. Not increased, decreased. That's not good for health either. Sixthly, victims of weight stigma are more likely to suffer with eating disorders and with more frequent binge eating episodes. That's not good for health either. Seventhly, weight bias could lead to worse medical treatment and even cause some people to delay or avoid medical care, which is very, very not good for health. All of this is why when some wank stain comes in the comment section on one of my videos where I'm basically sticking up for someone and types out, you obviously don't care about their health, they can fuck off. Because one of us cares about that person's health and it's not the person insulting them and making them feel like shit. But let's pretend all of this science doesn't exist. Just sweep it under the rug. You know, like some people do with their morals. Irrespective of how someone looks, how much someone weighs, doesn't everyone deserve the same level of respect 